time friends and today we are going to be doing the beauty consumer tag so stay tuned so i saw this tag done on nicole fisher's site and i will link her here and i also saw Teresa is dead to this tag too and i'll link her right here this was originally um originated by 90s love child and i'll leave her thing right here <laughs> so the first question is how much money do you spend on makeup a month and a year so a month i would say between my subscription boxes probably in makeup probably about two to three hundred dollars a month and that's bad that is so bad and there's other months that like last november oh my gosh i spent i think it was six hundred dollars just on makeup itself excluding um subscription boxes and that's why i started this year i'm like i really need to start doing a low buy and i still haven't done that yet like i see all these new releases and i'm like oh i want it so 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 far this month i say about two to three hundred dollars last year if I had to give a ballpark of how much money I spent on makeup and subscription boxes for this channel, it's probably about like $2,000. And that's not even including new cameras that I bought, backdrops that I bought, new lighting. And there's another couple thousand dollars right there. This is definitely a very pricey uh, thing to be into, but I absolutely love it so much. So question two, do you ever feel guilty about how much money you spend on makeup? Yeah, I do actually, because I have so much of it that I don't even use. It just sits there and I have more makeup than anybody could ever need in a lifetime, I think. And I'm not, I don't even have that much as a lot of these bigger YouTube channels have. And I'm already sometimes like, I have so much. And that's why I try as much as possible to give back to you guys as well. Question three, do you get FOMO related to makeup releases? I do. It's like when the conspiracy palette dropped, I was on the computer for four hours trying to get that palette and I couldn't get it and I felt so left out. I finally got it on the restock, but like I was hurt. I was like, oh my gosh, I cannot believe I sat here for four hours, a nervous wreck about a palette and I didn't even get it. So yeah, I have. Number four, do you purchase or keep items simply because they are limited edition? I don't really have any limited edition makeup, so I can't answer that one. So, five, would you be willing to pay more money for a sold out product online? Absolutely not. For the main reason is I don't know what's in them, and if it's not from the main company, I'm not interested because I don't want to put poop on my eyes or whatever else you know is in some of these products that we don't know what they are so you could be thinking you're getting the actual product but you're actually not do you wish you could spend more or less probably less so because like i said i don't use half of the makeup that i actually have i review a ton of makeup and i also want to do more things than just makeup because i am no way a makeup guru i'm just a girl who absolutely loves to try new products and try and loves to play with makeup so that's why i started this channel so do you feel compelled to buy something when you see it on someone else's collection absolutely Teresa, you kill me like there are so many things that you buy and i'm like oh i want it but i can't i can't justify spending much more make money on makeup than i already do because everybody has bills to pay and there's other things that i would like to do than other always buy makeup so do you buy more during the holidays never before until last year but like i said you know the shane dawson and jeffree star collection came in i bought that tati dropped a new product i bought that i went to um Ulta spent another 300 and something dollars on stuff and some of the products I haven't even used yet so yeah I do tend to buy more makeup during the holidays have you ever hidden a makeup purchase from your family or friends I'm not hidden it I just buy stuff my my honey's never home so 
I get packages come in all the time. He doesn't ask questions and I don't answer them. So if he did, so he doesn't know. And if he didn't know, he wouldn't care anyways. He said he's a good boy. Do you have more than 10 products in your collection that you have not used in over a month? I probably have 40 products in my collection that I have never used. And that's not even in a month. In a month, hundreds, hundreds of products that I have not used within a month. It's ridiculous. Have you ever been pressured to purchase something you couldn't afford or did not need? All the time. So, cause like, I'm like, I know I shouldn't buy it. I really shouldn't. I'm like, I don't need it. I mean, I'm, we've never, we're financially stable enough where I can buy things, but how do I need it? No. Have I felt pressured? Yeah, because I want to get something up on the channel before somebody else does. But by the time I get it up, there's 30,000 people that's already reviewed it. And no one's going to notice little me over here going, hi, it's my turn. So, um, do you purchase makeup for collector's reasons? Yes, I do collect the ColourPop 9pm plastic ones. I absolutely love those. And I'm trying right now to complete my Jeffree Star eyeshadow palette collection. But, of course, he just discontinued Alien and the Thirsty palette. And I did not get my hands on those. And the only way to get them is from a third company. And I won't buy from a third company. So, I'll never have that complete. And I'm kind of sad about it. So, it is what it is. In your makeup journey, have you become less or more consumeristic? Absolutely more. Well, before I started this channel, I had a little bit of makeup. I didn't, I mean, I had some. I had all Clarence makeup, and it, that stuff was expensive. <laughs> but it was like probably 20 items. That was it, 20. And I still have that makeup sitting in a drawer. And I went to go use it the other day, and it was like, oh my gosh, it was crap. And for something that was so expensive, you wouldn't think it would be absolute crap like it is so but it was and yes i am very much a horrible hoarder makeup person and i don't know if i was ever gonna stop <laughs> unless i stop this channel but then i think it's in my blood now so i'll always be like this so but well that is everything that is on my list i hope you guys enjoyed this who i'm going to be tagging in this video is just ann i'm going to be tagging amanda beth and i'm also going to be tagging manders beauty so girls it's your turn and if you also want to tag yourself in this i would absolutely love to watch it everything will be below in my description box all the information about this well i actually really enjoyed this this was kind of fun this is kind of different than the actual ordinary stuff that i do so but i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys will subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so you'll be notified every single time that I upload a new video. I hope you guys have a wonderful and a magical day, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.